Alright, welcome to Fish City. Uh, as promised, Greg Scissorhands McKinney and some uh, tackle tips today. And today's tackle tip will be Guna Briggs. What do you got there, big fella? Right over off Guna fishing tomorrow, we're off to the Kuiper. So um, I've got a little selection of bits and pieces that we can use. Um, little flasher rigs from Mustard or Black Magic. I really like the little mustard ones because they're tied on these little demon recurve hooks. Quite a fine gauge, but very, very sharp. Um, I actually tie up my own rig, which I'm going to give you a quick little demo on as well. But as long as you use a small little recurve hook, um, they'll be fine. The flasher rigs are really easy to use, which are the, the two rigs we have here, the Black Magic and the, and the Demon. They've got little recurves on there, just add a little bit of bait and put your two sinkers on there, and away you go. But we'll give you a quick intro, we'll give you a quick demo on how to tie up these rigs that I use. Right, I'm going to give you a little demo on the, the rigs that I tie up for my gurnard fishing up in the Kuiper. I use quite a long rig, a little longer than the flasher rigs. It just gives the bait a lot more movement. So I've tied one little hook rig up there. So I usually fish three rigs, uh, three hooks. Um, the product I tie it up on is this stream fluorocarbon. The fluorocarbon basically it disappears in the water, it cannot be seen and the nice little pink colour actually helps it to disappear. So I cut off a small piece like so, and then basically get my hook and do a little snood knot. So just wrap by wrapping the line over the hook like so. It comes up with a nice little snood. And when you put the line back through the hook, it gives it a really nice shape for these recurves to pull in really well. So the line must come through like so and then with these recurve hooks they are designed to basically curl into the fish's mouth now if the line was coming out the opposite way you'd never ever hook up so it's that simple to tie put your little lumo bead on top and just cut that back tag off And we are ready to, to tie the rest of our rig. Right, I've cut off a length of trace. It's around about two metres. And then we just start to tie our hooks on. So this is the same knot that all the commercial tyres use. It's just a little surgeon's knot. Make sure that the hook face up the trace. Make a little loop and three, th thread both bits through three times. and then just gently pull that up and it's done. So then the hook will sit out like so. All perfect for catching your gurnard and just trim that tag end off the back. And then just tie your second hook further down the trace about here and then tie your bottom hook on the very bottom. That's about every metre really isn't it? That's it. Right, I've tied the two top hooks on. So for the bottom hook, we put a tiny little sinker on here. And then the little lumo bead. And then we just tie the, the hook on. We just use a normal fishing knot. This is called a uni knot. And the idea of that little sinker on the bottom is to hold the whole trace on the bottom. Because your main weight, your biggest sinker goes at the very top. The reason you have this nice long trace and that little sinker is that so that in the current, when you're fishing in the current up in the Kuiper, this whole trace just moves around gently in the current and the gurnard seem to bite it very, very well. So just trim that little tag end off. That sits down there and the whole thing just swings in the current gently. All ready to go. We've tied up our rig, I've just added a little swivel to the very top end, which we clip onto the rod and reel, so on the rod and reel I have another swivel here, so you can easily just clip that on, and the rig is done. I always use, as I said before, use the heavier weight at this end, and I just clip it somewhere on here. Now if you want to use a running sinker, you can do that, and a running sinker I mean more like a little ball and you can slide it on there so it will slide up and down but we just use that attached sinker there so the trace is made up and that bottom that's your weight and then it sits along the bottom all stretched out with a little weight at the bottom and the whole thing swings in the current 
we're ready to go goon fishing. So all this product here is available at Fish City. Just call in and see us, and uh, we can help you with your, your cheeky little gooned rig. Um, check out the website. We've got some some gooned filleting on there as well, and uh, and how to catch them. See you next time.